U.S. jury court ruling calling a halt to the sale of the anti-hypertension drug Tarka has weighed quite heavily on Glenmark Pharma's stock, which has tanked substantially in the last two trading sessions. Analysts say the loss is of, of sustained earnings is quite deep. Archana Shukla has more. It was a bitter pill for investors of Glenmark Pharma as the stock saw two straight choppy trading sessions falling nearly 12% from its Friday close and ending at 308.95 today. It was the US court jury ruling against Glenmark that pulled it down. In a patent case on the $60 million anti-hypertension drug Tarka, the jury asked Glenmark to stop selling generic Tarka and also pay penalty of $16 million to the patent holders, Sanofi Aventis and Abbott Labs. This particular news has made an impact on the stock. Like, you know, what we can see on the weekly charts also, the 26-week exponential moving average has cracked. Like, you know, it has started below that today, you know. Glenmark was selling generic Turka at risk in the US markets since June 2010, after a preliminary ruling in its favor. And being the only company with marketing approvals, was commanding earnings of 20 to $25 million annually on Turka. While sales have been stopped as a precaution after the jury verdict, Glenmark is confident of a positive district court ruling expected in four to six weeks. A Glenmark Pharma spokesperson said, and I quote, Although Glenmark is disappointed with the jury verdict, the judge has yet to consider Glenmark's defence that the patent is invalid for double patenting. Glenmark continues to believe that the patent is not valid. Any negative district court ruling on Turka will impact the sustainable upsides till 2013. But analysts believe Glenmark has lot to fall back on. So there are a lot of products which are there in the pipeline and they will also be launching Oxycodone which is a branded product for them. So all these will take care of the loss that they will be having from the Turka. Experts add Glenmark's niche product portfolio in oral contraceptives and extended release maturing with nearly 18 ANDA approvals received in 2010 will help Glenmark maintain its US growth momentum at 15 to 20 percent in the medium and long term. But in the short term, investors would certainly be cautious. In Mumbai, Archana Shukla, NDTV Profit.